Okay, in this question we are given that a bag contains two white and one red balls. So let me name the balls. The balls are W1, W2 and R. Please be careful here. I am just writing it as W1 and W2 just for our convenience but both are considered as white balls. Okay, now what is it? One ball is drawn at random and then put back in the box after noting its color. The process is repeated again. If X denotes the number of red balls recorded in the two draws, describe X. Now it is said that uh, there are two draws. So what are the possible outcomes in the two draws? What that is? What is our sample space? It can be W1, W2. W1 is drawn in the two cases. It is W1, W1. Uh, W2, W1. Or W2, W2 or W1R, W2R, uh, RW1, RW2 or RR. Okay. These are the uh, nine possible cases. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, these are the nine possible cases in the sample space. Now, what is said? Uh, X denotes the number of red balls recorded in the two two draws. That is, if I consider any element P which belongs to sample spaces, then X of this element P is equal to number of R in P. Correct. So now uh, we know that because x is for any p which belongs to us, the domain of x is the sample space. Fine. Now let us find what is the uh, range of x. So for the for these first four cases, uh, what will be the value of x? X of W, W1, W2, it is equal to X of W2, W1 is equal to X of W1, W1, it is equal to X of uh, W2, W2. Because this means that uh, in both cases, white ball is drawn, uh, number of red balls is 0. Therefore, the value of the function x for all these four elements will be zero. Okay. Now similarly, uh, if we consider uh, these four cases, now what is there? It means that in the first here, uh, in the first draw I got a white ball and second draw I got a red ball. Here also it is the same. Here I got a red ball first in the first draw and the white ball in the second row and here also it is the same so what will be it be because in all these four cases there is only one red ball that is taken out means sorry the red ball is taken out only once in all these four cases so x of w1 r is equal to x of w2 r is equal to x of r w1 is equal to x of r w2 it will be 1, correct? Because there is only 1 R. And finally, what is X of R comma R? Sorry, X of R R. That means, I took out a red ball in the two draws. So, it will be equal to 2. Therefore, what is the range of X? Range is equal to 0 or 1 or 2. Because, for all the 9 elements, I got a images in, I found out the value of x and these and all these three values are real numbers therefore uh, this is the range of x and this is the domain of x and therefore x is a random variable with with this description 